Welcome to our channel. We're so glad to have you here with us. This space was thoughtfully created to bring you incredible and enriching content. We hope you feel at home and enjoy each video we carefully prepare with dedication. To help us continue growing and producing high quality content, we kindly ask you to subscribe to our channel. Your subscription is crucial for us to reach more people and share knowledge with an even larger community. And don't forget to like our videos. Not only does this encourage us, but it also helps increase our channel's visibility. Feel free to share with your friends and family too, so they can benefit from this valuable content. Together, we can build a strong and inspiring community. Thank you for being a part of this journey with us. Now, let's dive into today's video. Today, we embark on another journey of reflection and spiritual discovery. Have you ever wondered why God doesn't extend forgiveness to the fallen angels and Satan? To answer this, we need to address a few complex questions, but don't worry. We'll break it down to make it easier to understand. The first question is, if God created Satan as a good being, how did he end up committing evil? Think of it like building a flawless robot designed to do good, but one day it act out unexpectedly. You might wonder, how could something perfect do something wrong? This situation mirrors the case of Satan. Though created good, Satan had free will, just like us. He wasn't flawed, but his freedom allowed him to make his own choices, including rebelling against God. In today's video, we'll explore the profound question, why didn't God forgive the fallen angels? Get ready for an intriguing discussion about the mysteries of theology and divine decisions. Let's dive deep into this complex topic and uncover the reasons behind these divine actions. This conversation will challenge your preconceptions and open up new perspectives, helping to strengthen your faith and deepen your spiritual connection. Before his rebellion, Satan or Lucifer was not the adversary we know today. He was once a powerful, radiant angel created by God whose very name means light bringer or morning star. He held a significant position in heaven, revered among other celestial beings. While the Bible doesn't delve deeply into Lucifer's nature before his fall, passages like Ezekiel 28 give us insights into his beauty and wisdom, shedding light on his eventual rebellion. Lucifer's downfall is often attributed to pride, his desire to be equal to or even greater than God. His rebellion exemplifies the concept of free will, showing that even perfect beings like angels can choose to go against divine authority. Unlike humans who might act out of ignorance or deception, angels had full knowledge of their actions. Their choice to rebel wasn't a mistake, but a conscious decision to reject God. This deliberate defiance makes their sin irredeemable. It wasn't a temporary lapse, but a willful embrace of evil. Divine justice demands consequences for such rebellion, and the fallen angels were cast into outer darkness, eternally separated from God. Their choice severed their connection with the divine forever. However, even in the midst of such severe judgment, God's mercy shines through, though not for the fallen angels, but for humanity. God's infinite compassion offers us a path to redemption through Jesus Christ, whose sacrifice on the cross grants forgiveness and eternal life to all who believe. The rebellion of the fallen angels serves as a powerful warning. It reminds us of the dangers of pride and rebellion, urging us to seek righteousness. As we reflect on the mysterious workings of divine justice and grace, 
we should humbly submit to God's will, trusting in His wisdom and mercy. The Bible assures us that God is merciful and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. He doesn't treat us as our sins deserve, but offers us grace. As Psalm 103 reminds us, we can find peace, joy, and fulfillment only through Him. Now, how do you feel after diving into this story of Satan's rebellion and the fallen angels? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. These theological themes are fascinating and spark many different discussions and interpretations. Do you agree that Satan's rebellion was a conscious act of free will? How do you perceive divine justice in this context? Was the punishment of the fallen angels fair? And what about our relationship with God? How does it compare to that of the angels? I look forward to reading your insights. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with others who might be interested in these deep reflections. Your support is essential for our channel's growth. Thank you all for your ongoing participation and support. As we reflect on the expulsion of the rebellious angels and the celestial war that ensued, we encounter one of theology's most mysterious episodes. The war in heaven, often associated with Revelation 12, where Archangel Michael battles Satan, symbolizes the eternal struggle between good and evil, both in the spiritual realm and in our own lives. Let this serve as a reminder of the choices we face daily and the importance of walking in righteousness. Together, Let's explore these mysteries and grow in our understanding of divine grace and justice. The narrative of the war in heaven is one that transcends time, echoing deeply in, in our understanding of spiritual conflict and the cosmic struggle between good and evil. This tale of rebellion, led by Satan, illustrates not only the dangers of pride and ambition, but also the inevitability of justice in the face of defiance against divine authority. At the heart of this spiritual war lies the concept of free will. Satan, once a magnificent angel, made a conscious choice to challenge God's sovereignty. Unlike humans, whose sins may be influenced by weakness or ignorance, Satan's rebellion was a deliberate act of defiance, fully aware of the consequences that would follow. His pride and desire to ascend above God's throne led to a cosmic upheaval, altering the course of spiritual history. Yet the symbolism of this story goes beyond just an ancient battle. It mirrors the choices we face in our lives today. Just as Satan exercised his free will to rebel, we too are granted the freedom to make moral decisions that shape our own spiritual destiny. The war in heaven serves as a reminder of our responsibility to stand against temptation and to align ourselves with truth and righteousness. One significant aspect of this tale is God's refusal to forgive Satan and the rebellious angels. Unlike humans, who are offered redemption through sincere repentance, the fallen angels remained steadfast in their rebellion. This decision underscores the severity of their sin, rooted deeply in pride and a direct challenge to God's authority. It also highlights a fundamental principle of divine justice. Some transgressions, especially those committed with full knowledge and intent, cannot be overlooked. God's decision not to extend forgiveness to these cosmic rebels is not a sign of lacking mercy, but a demonstration of his unwavering commitment to maintaining the moral and spiritual order of the universe. Forgiving such deliberate rebellion would have disrupted the balance of divine justice, potentially encouraging further disobedience among other heavenly beings. In contrast to the fallen angels, humanity 
is given the opportunity for redemption through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. This offer of salvation showcases the depth of God's love and mercy for His creation, allowing humans to reconcile with Him despite our flaws and failures. In this light, the war in heaven serves not only as a cautionary tale about the consequences of defiance, but also as a testament to the boundless grace available to those who seek it. As we reflect on this profound story, we are encouraged to examine our own lives. Are we choosing humility, obedience, and devotion to God in our actions? The fall of Lucifer and the rebellious angels challenges us to learn from their mistakes, to remain vigilant against pride, and to pursue righteousness in our spiritual journey. I invite you to join us in this exploration of spiritual truths by subscribing to our channel where we delve deeper into these powerful narratives and their implications for our lives today. We'd love to hear your thoughts and reflections. How does this cosmic battle resonate with your own spiritual journey? Feel free to share your opinions and insights in the comments below and let us know what other themes or topics you'd like to explore in future videos. Together, we can continue to seek wisdom, grow in understanding, and align ourselves with the divine purpose laid out for us. Let's stay on this path of spiritual discovery, always striving for the truth and light that guide our way. The narrative of Lucifer's fall is a profound reflection on the nature of pride, rebellion, and the consequences of disobedience to God. Lucifer, once a radiant and exalted angel, allowed pride and ambition to lead him astray, resulting in his rebellion against God. The biblical passage from Isaiah 14, 12 to 15 captures this tragedy, showing how his desire to ascend and rival God led to his ultimate downfall. His fall from grace is not just an isolated event, but carries deep cosmic and spiritual significance, echoing through the ages and influencing both the spiritual and human realms. Lucifer's story serves as a sobering reminder of the dangers of pride and the seductive power of sin. Even those in the highest spiritual positions can fall if they lose sight of humility and submission to God. This lesson extends beyond the celestial to human experience, warning us to guard against spiritual arrogance and overconfidence. However, amidst the darkness of Lucifer's rebellion, there is also a message of hope and redemption. God's sovereign plan allows for the possibility of forgiveness and restoration for those who turn back to Him in humility and faith. While Lucifer chose the path of rebellion, humanity is offered the opportunity to seek redemption through Jesus Christ. This divine grace reminds us that no sin is beyond God's mercy if we choose to repent and submit to His will. As we reflect on this cosmic narrative, we are invited to consider our own spiritual journey. Just as Lucifer exercised his free will to rebel, we too have the power to make choices that shape our spiritual destiny. By staying vigilant in prayer, nurturing our relationship with God, and remaining humble, we can avoid the pitfalls of pride and sin. If this reflection on Lucifer's fall and its spiritual implications resonates with you, please share your thoughts in the comments below. Your insights can deepen this ongoing conversation about faith, spirituality, and the eternal truths of God's Word. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more inspiring content, and let us know what topics you'd like to explore in future videos. Together, we can continue to grow in faith and understanding, always seeking God's love, mercy, and truth 